welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a full face chatty get ready with me testing new products, new product releases, and also products that are just generally new to me and my collection. If you're interested in hanging out with me, watching me do my makeup with all newish products, then just keep on watching. I have my little bin of stuff right here and I pretty much have a product for every single category. I'm just going to show you guys briefly kind of what we're working with today. So I have the new, well not new, I have the new to me, I haven't even tried this yet, the Pure 4-in-1 Selfie, uh, Love Your Selfie Foundation. So we have that to try. We have the new Kosas Concealer, which I have been testing and I really do enjoy that guy. I have two primer samples to play around with. You guys know me, I love trying new primers. So we have the Lila Be A Glow Priming Oil and the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless filter. I had another sample of this so I have tried it once and I love it so I'm gonna try these two together today. We have this Milani bronzer to try out that Jessica Braun always raves about so I picked that up as well as the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes mascara which is relatively new. Jessica Braun also raves about that one. We have new eyeshadow from Catrice. This is their Badass Bay palette. They sent this over as well as their Luminize Highlight and Blush Glow Palette. So we're going to start out by priming the skin with the two primers we have. Technically, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter isn't really a primer, so I'm going to put that on second. So we're going to start off with the Lila Be A Glow Priming Oil to improve skin firmness, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, improve skin texture and tone for a radiant complexion. I've heard amazing things about this oil and then also the be a glow face mist a lot of people really like there we go i forgot to put in my hair clips and i noticed that the product was getting in my hair and i forgot that i've been using these clips every time i've been doing my makeup lately so that my hair doesn't get in my makeup okay this feels so incredibly hydrating on the skin this feels amazing feels more nourishing and hydrating than my Smashbox photo finish primerizer and that's like my number one so I'm very impressed my skin just feels so glowy and dewy and healthy I can totally see wearing that without makeup even but okay we're gonna go and add some more glow on top this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter so this is technically not a primer it's just a glow enhancer I would call it and here um, I have the shades one fair and two light and three light so I'm just gonna use the lightest two you really don't get a lot in this sample but I'm just gonna mix the lightest two together and apply them to the high points of my face all right I've had this Charlotte Tilbury product on my loves list on Sephora for so long now I feel like so many people picked it up during the VIB sale I don't think that you can see a difference on camera just because my skin was already so glowy and dewy and radiant but it just added a little bit of extra glow to the cheeks now we are going to go in with the pure four-in-one love your selfie long wear foundation and concealer and I purchased mine in LN2 this foundation comes in 100 shades if I'm not mistaken so I picked up the second latest uh neutral shade and i think it looks like a really good match for me i got this at shoppers i've only heard good things about this foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and just apply it directly to my real techniques sponge and start dabbing it in whoa okay that might be enough to do like my whole face that one pump um this is supposed to be like a concealer and foundation mix so the coverage is supposed to be amazing yeah, so far coverage is looking really, really good. And that was just the one pump that I did. So I'm going to do like a tiny baby pump and put that on my forehead. So this is how my skin is looking with that like one and a half pumps applied. I am incredibly impressed with how this foundation looks on my skin covered up like my spots and my redness really really well usually i can tell like right away if something is going to work for me and this is just working for me so love that so far 
Um, now I'm going to go in with my Kosas Concealer. This is in 01, so it is their lightest shade, and um, it's a little bit dark for me. I really do like the formula of this. I've had this concealer probably two or three months now. I purchased it kind of right before the whole quarantine happened. The coverage isn't very high. So I don't like it as much on blemishes. Today I am going to use it all over my face just for the sake of the video. But I really, really enjoy how it sits under my eyes and then where I just applied it to brighten. I'm just going to go and put a decent amount on my under eyes. I want today's look to be like pretty glam. We're doing lashes and everything. So applying a good amount of concealer and then I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer in Fair Porcelain just to brighten that up. And we're going to go ahead and blend that out. I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder and just setting my under eyes. Now I'm just doing a little bit of spot concealing. And then I'm just going to go into my MAC Studio Fix in NC15 with a big fluffy powdered brush. Just lightly press in to set the face. Usually I'll apply more of this um, because it does give me more coverage and I usually need that, but today I really just am using this to set. I am so impressed with how the foundation, concealer, primer, everything looks. I don't actually have anything new for my like base brow products, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows and then I'll come back to set them and then we can move into the rest of my complexion. So I will be right back. All right, my brows are on, so I'm gonna go ahead and move into bronzer. So we have this Maybelline Silky Matte Sunlight Bronzing Powder. It's also scented, it smells a lot like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but I just thought the packaging and everything on this was absolutely gorgeous. And I've heard really, really good things about this from Jessica Braun. She actually included it in her most recent dupes video and said that it is a dupe for Fenty Beauty Bronzers, um, her powder ones in In The Sun, I believe. Um, I can link that dupes video down below, but I just thought the tone and everything was so, so pretty. So I picked this up the other day for this video and I have used it once already and I really, really enjoy it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead with my Sephora Pro Airbrush 55 and I'm going to bronze up the skin. I want to be pretty bronzed for today's look so we're really going to go in with this. I do feel like baking today so I'm going to go ahead back in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder and carve out the bronzer a little bit. I'm just going to let that bake in a little bit while I move on to highlight. I know it looks crazy just bear with me. I'm going to now go in with this Catrice Luminize highlighter palette. There are two highlighters in here and then a blush as well. Super, super pretty. More of a blush topper. It's like a very pink highlight. I think I'm just going to mix the two highlights together. Try them out on the face. I have not tried any of these yet, so let's give it a go. Ooh. That highlighter is super, super pretty. I want to be very bronzed and glowy today, so I went in very, very heavy-handed with it. Um, totally personal preference, but it's what I like. I think that highlighter is beautiful. Um, we are now going to jump into blush. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Blush in Love Glow. Um, if you watched my haul, you would have seen that I think this is the wrong shade. I don't believe this is Love Glow, but I'm keeping it anyway and I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to take my Luxie 504 Large Angled Blush Brush and I'm going to circle the outside and then pop that middle color. Barely showing up. It's just kind of shimmery. I'm trying to concentrate as much as I can in that middle dark darker color but it's just not giving me enough of a blush so I think I'll be returning that. Let me try and take a pop of the pink like highlighter in here and just see what that does. That even seems to have more pink 
pigment in it than the Charlotte Tilbury blush, which is kind of funny. I'm just going to go ahead and put on a lip liner and the gloss, um, and then we will get into the eyes. I'm doing things a little out of order today, but whatever. So the Kosas lip oil shade that I have is in Malibu. It's like their Barbie bubblegum pink. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Slide On Glide On lip liner in Bed Rose, which is also a pretty bright pink shade. This is how the lips look with just that liner. It's coming across a little more red, maybe just because of my top. Now I'm just going to top it off with the Kosas Wet Lip Oil. This is a lip oil, but the consistency to me is definitely much more of a gloss because it is very pigmented. I love this because it's super nice and hydrating as well. So I actually just jumped off camera quickly and took off that lip liner and gloss. Went ahead and reapplied with just the lip oil. So this is how how the lips look just with the lip oil no liner I just thought it was too much with the liner I think I'm just going to go in to the badass bay palette and there are really pretty like fiery warm tones in here but again I'm just not really feeling that for today so I think we're gonna stick with this like top neutral row and be boring and basic starting out with this shade here a nice transition crease shade called clap back Put that in the crease. Just really gonna build up this light brown color. Now I'm gonna take by Felicia on the very um, outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade, um, IDGAF, all over the lid just with my finger. So I'm not loving how the shadow looks. Um, I'm going to leave it there because all I really wanted was a little wash of warmth and definition on the lids. I think it's a combination of the shadows being quite dry and then also um, my eyelids being quite dry. They're just not adhering and blending how I would like for them too. We have the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. This is a product that Jessica Braun has been raving about on her channel as well. I kept the little pamphlet so I could go over the claims of the mascara. Volumizing mascara 100% agree, does not clump, and mine is in blackest black. So basically it's going to give you a very black voluminous lash. The other day when I tried it, I didn't find that I was getting a ton of volume with this. If anything, it was a little bit like just defining and lengthening. I'm going in at the very root of my lash and wiggling upwards, hoping to get the product really in there. So this is one eye with the mascara just on the upper lashes so far, and then with no mascara. So I think it does make quite a difference and I'm getting more volume today than I was the other day which is really nice. So I'm gonna forego lashes today and just really build up the mascara. I'm not afraid of a clumpier lash. I kind of like the look of a clumpier lash. So I'm just going to really, really <laughs> build it up to try and get volume. And then I'm going to coat my lower lashes as well. Now, because I'm deciding to forego lashes, this is the final look for today. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and say the few products that I really, really loved in this video and then the few that I'm kind of on the fence about and wouldn't really recommend at this time. So unfortunately I wasn't a huge fan of that Catrice eyeshadow palette and I also wasn't a fan of that Charlotte Tilbury blush. I think I will be returning that guy. Just not worth the price. Doesn't really show up on my skin. I want a brighter more Barbie pink. Then the products that I'm absolutely in love with and would highly recommend at this point are the Lila Glow face primer. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I will be purchasing that at some point within the next month or so. The Pure Foundation, especially combined with this Kosas Concealer, I think are absolutely beautiful because the Pure Foundation is like full, full coverage and then the Kosas is a very natural brightening concealer. I think that combination is amazing and I'm super, super excited to continue playing around with the Pure Foundation. Everything else is kind of like in the middle. Um, I do love the Kosas Lip Oil, but that's just kind of new to you guys because I hadn't shown it yet but I have been using and loving this for a while now and I just think it is so so pretty and that is everything that I have for you guys today as always I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so so much for watching bye